Okay, welcome to the MSU Turf Team update. Today is July 14th, 2020. We have Dr. Joe Vargas with us today to talk about uh, some of the things we've been seeing now in the field with the uh, very hot weather that we just got through and a little bit of rainfall. It sounds like the, the heat is going to return once again. So, uh, Joe, go ahead if you want to give us kind of an update on what you've been uh, seeing and some tips and tricks for people okay. as we get through this uh, stretch of dog days of summer. Yeah, this is, uh, hi everybody. This is one of those hot summers that we get about uh, every 10 years or so. And uh, we have to kind of make adjustments. Um, normally, uh, brown patch and Pythium blight are not that big a problem, but we get temperatures like we're getting now. They do become a big problem, and I've seen them out on uh, golf courses. You usually see it in the rough first and then the fairway, and then if it, the conditions continue, you will eventually get it onto the greens. So as you know, last week all hell kind of broke loose and uh, we saw diseases like crown rot and thracnose, pythium blight, dollar spot, and we even saw the beginning of diseases like summer patch starting on golf courses and necrotic ring spot on home lawns. Um, so we're gonna to return to those warm temperatures again this uh, weekend, so you should make sure that all the preventative sprays are down before the return of the uh, hot weather. Um, and another point is in summers like this with those temperatures, uh, sometimes you need to shorten the interval of applications. Maybe you've getting, been getting away with 14, uh, 16, 18 days, but you know, you, you probably ought to slide it back about 10 days with the kind of pressures we're gonna get uh, this weekend. And, um, you could be your own uh, modeler. Uh, one of the things that I've observed over the years is when the nighttime temperature does not go below 68 degrees Fahrenheit, that's when we see a lot of diseases like we're visiting now, seeing, sorry, seeing now, like again, brown patch, pythium blight, crown rot anthracnose, summer patch, and uh, necrotic ring spot. So when you get those days, you can, you know, you can look at the advanced forecast. When you get those days where it says, you know, nighttime temperature 68 or 70 or 72, you could be pretty sure those diseases are going to occur. A dollar spot, on the other hand, uh, not necessarily the nighttime temperatures, but high humidity. Um, and the temperature is somewhere between 70 and 80 with high humidity. That's when we tend to uh, get dollar spot outbreak. So this weekend, we're going to have high temperature, the nighttime temperature staying above 68, and we're going to have high humidity. So any disease you can imagine is going to occur this weekend. So again, try to get your preventative sprays uh, out there. Um, that's kind of about all I have to really say, except good luck and hope you can survive these next uh, couple of weeks with the warm temperatures that we're going to have. Uh, my uh, email is Vargas, all small letters, at msu.edu. If you have uh, any uh, questions or want to send me some photos so that, um, you know, I can help you identify a problem you may have. And my phone is 517-881-8611. Uh, if you'd like to call me. Okay. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks, Joe. Um, you know, I hadn't asked you this previously, but have you been seeing any insect issues out there right now? No, I, I, ha I really haven't. Uh, you know, I, I think one of the things is most people are so uh, preventative oriented with, uh, you know, the Atenia grub now. And um, uh, what's coming next, of course, would be the Japanese beetle grubs and the um, uh, European chafer grub grubs. But no, I haven't. I really haven't seen much of I just saw a little bit the other day, I was out uh, sampling on a golf course, so to speak. And uh, so I, I always get them confused of whether it's a tenuous or a photius, but you know, the really, really tiny grubs just cause them a uh, little bit of damage. But it was interesting because you couldn't see anything visually as a turf. It's just, uh, I don't know if a bird had started pecking or whatever, you know, once they start pecking, they get that area removed and then you could uh, easily yeah. go back and see where they were uh, causing a little bit yeah. of injury. But maybe, maybe with these, um, temperatures that we're going to get um, this weekend. If the grubs are active, you might see some turf starting to wilt. Yeah, especially with, especially like you said, uh, heat index is supposedly over 100 uh, starting on Friday or close yeah. to it. So um, we're going to be boiling once again. So uh, 
uh, like uh, like you said, Joe, keep uh, keep on top of it and hope for the best. And uh, it's uh, what do we say in this part of the state or so? Uh, you know, another month or so, and then we kind of get past that middle part of August. Hopefully, the relief starts yeah. coming, right? Yeah, everybody can take a deep breath. Yep, that's right. All right. Okay, Bye-bye. thanks, Bill. I appreciate it. Yep. Bye. All right.